In this tutorial, we're going to be looking at the new ruler tool. So you can go into Window, Rulers. The keyboard shortcut for this is Shift plus R. We're going to start with the perspective rulers, then move to ellipse, and then line. Here we have a one point perspective selected. Now all of our lines will be vertical and move back towards that perspective point. With two points selected, you have the options of a single point perspective two-point perspective, or a three-point perspective. Now with any of the ruler tools, there's the option of using freehand. I'm going to demonstrate this over in the ellipse. For here, you can use lock control points that'll keep these nodes from being movable so that when you're drawing near the node, you won't accidentally move it. You can lock horizontally. This will keep you from moving this node or this left node off of the horizontal plane. Notice when I click on it, it centers it back on the horizon. Okay, let's choose the ellipse tool. The ellipse tool now has four different nodes around the outside, and one center one used for pivoting. Drawing anywhere near the outside circle will allow you to draw a nice looking circle. This top one will shrink the circle, which will contract or expand the circle. The outside ring on the right side will allow for rotation. And the node with an X on it will close. When you select the freehand option and you draw around the outside, it will give you a close approximation to the line. It'll allow you a little bit more organic movement within the line making it feel a little less robotic, a little bit more hand-drawn. This is nice for just giving a gentle guide to the ellipse shape that you're trying to make. Lock control points will do the same thing as it does in the perspective grid. It'll keep you from accidentally marking on those nodes. Now let's click on parallel lines. I really like this one because now anytime the stylus is near the screen, it's going to create a circle and you can just very quickly draw all sorts of different circle shapes without having to do any of the repositioning. It just stays centered around the middle and allows you to quickly draw circles and ellipses. Really cool one. All right, let's switch over to line. Line will be familiar with users of Rebel 6. So this section right here, this section right here, these crosshairs, this is where the line will show up. You can move them one at a time by grabbing the center node. You can move the entire ruler You can close it with the X. Lock control points, locks all the nodes so you can't accidentally click them. Freehand gives you a more organic line, bringing you close to the line without being mechanical. And parallel lines is, again, so cool. Such a fast way to add very, very quick lines at a specific angle. If you have questions on the new ruler tool, feel free to put that in the comment section. Thank you for watching. Until next time, stay creative and have a wonderful day.